Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. I'm gonna show you how to set up Password Safe. So Password Safe is a beautiful GNOME style front end for, uh, you know, KeyPass. So there are a couple of ways you can install it and in the link in the description, the article I go over, various ways you can get it working. In this article, uh, I also cover how to install it through Flatpak, which is the main way you should install it. So we'll cover Flatpak in the video. And that's because if you're not using Arch Linux, Fedora, or, you know, I think there are a couple other distributions that may have it, the best way you can get it working is with password safe. So to start, you're going to need to set up Flatpak on your system, and then you can just open up a terminal like so, then you can do, and yeah, let's make this maximize, Flatpak search password safe. Should return a couple of different results, and of course, you can also copy the command down here to install it. But as we see, password safe, we just copy the app ID and we do sudo flatpak install password safe and then dash y. Now it's going to tell me that I already have it installed, so it's going to skip it. But if I didn't, it would download all the stuff I need to get it going. So now we need to open up password safe. So I have a default safe. Now this safe uh, is what I use to set up you know, some personal stuff. So let's start a new one. So to start a new safe, you would click up here and you click new safe. Now from here, you need to save your safe files. Now this is a little bonus tip I didn't put in the article, but if you use Dropbox like me, I use it a lot, you can save your safe file in Dropbox. Now this will ensure that your safe password will be synced across all of your Linux systems. So if you're using password safe on another computer, you will have access to the same database. You can do that or you can just save it in your home folder like so. Now once you do that, you're going to be asked, and let me get rid of this, you're going to be asked to protect your save file. Now you can set a password, which is the easiest way for most people. You can set a key file if you want it to be you know, safer than a password. Uh, you can do a composite, so that is password and key file. I usually use composite when I'm using my own personal stuff, but I haven't used key pass or password safe in a long time. But uh, for this demonstration, we're just going to do password because li likely as long as you have a, a secure password, it's okay. So click password, enter a secure password, and then you can do it again just to make sure, and then click the checkbox, then click open safe. Now your safe will be instantly locked and you can unlock it with the password. So from here you're going to see an empty group. Now you can create a new group by going up here, click uh, new group, and then from here we're going to do website passwords. You can also call it just passwords like so, you know, it doesn't really matter and you write a description, these are passwords. And then from here you can just click the home button and it will take you back out of the group and you can access the group by clicking there and it will show you all of you can make different groups so you can also add different kinds of things so if you want website passwords for like Facebook you can make a Facebook group and so on but you go into your group and then you click new entry now from here we can set up what we're doing here so if I want to add a password I can and let's go just do an example like Facebook right Facebook password that I can do my Facebook username at facebook.com. I can enter my password, which is whatever the password is. I'm just pressing numbers. <laughs> and then, you know, facebook.com. This is my Facebook password. And then I can add an attachment. If I want to add any information to go with it, I can select a special kind of, you know, uh, icon, select a color, let's say red or blue, no, because Facebook is blue, and uh, you know, that's it. I can click on pa uh, passwords again, and I can see my Facebook group password is here, and uh, you know, I can click this copy button, and the password will be copied to my clipboard, and it's really that easy. Password safe is pretty cool, useful if you like to use KeyPass, but you want something that's user-friendly and nice, uh, and uh, so that's how that all works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next